Welcome to the Send More Offers Real Estate Show with Brandon Barnes, showing you how to do wholesaling deals consistently without having to go on seller appointments. Learn the key tips and strategies that Brandon's students use to find deeply discounted properties that are pennies on the dollar, all while avoiding wear and tear on their vehicle, body, and freedom. Whether you're looking for your first deal or your next deal, it's time to send more offers with your host, Brandon Barnes. Welcome to the Simmer Offers Real Estate Show with your host, Brandon Barnes. Guys, today I am fresh off the heels of a road trip. Guys, I went and visited one of the local corporate wholesaling entities, which I have uh, some really great connections there by just being in the market over the years. And I wanted to have my dispositions manager see how these operations work. And I'm going to break down a little bit of how they work and what they do really well, and then how you can apply the same strategies to do deals in your market with less marketing dollars actually spent. So look, what is a corporate wholesaling entity? Most of the times, these are companies that have a big sales team. They focus on cold wholesaling deals, so working with other wholesalers for joint venture deals and or agent outreach. So most of the time in these agent outreach opportunities are for agents that have pocket listings. That's properties that they're not listing on the open market. And most of the time, these companies, literally most of the time, they are not doing their own direct to seller marketing. So what do they do? They go out and work and find other wholesalers that have deals, people that they can partner with, people that they can add value to by helping comp their deals or being boots on the ground, et cetera, or working with agents that don't have outlets to have a cash offer for their client or the house isn't pretty enough to, to list. So they want to find a buyer off market to work with. And these companies do really well because they all have access to the MLS. They're usually all agents. And they have strength in numbers. They have big budgets because they really focus on intaking their cash buyers and making sure that their deals are sold for the most as possible because they have a big network. And I spoke to the general manager and he said, look, their corporate company, the corporate team, they have like 10 people focused on just pulling lists of new buyers that are buying right now. And then they have another 10 people that are focused on vetting those buyers and making sure that they have the funds to invest in these deals. And then they send those buyers to the different franchises. So they already have a built in super strong buyers list. And no, we're not going to be able to compete with these corporate wholesale entities buyers list, but you can build really great relationships with your cash buyers locally and be a value add to wholesalers yourself for joint venture deals, as well as agents yourself. And so all this is, guys, is going to be contingent upon you using and utilizing your network for your net worth and establishing strong relationships in your local market. And look, the part of this, you know, like I said, it's usually a co-wholesale deal, joint venture or agent outreach that they're finding these deals. But there's a lot of money on the table. This company in particular, they're doing 40 to 50 deals in one office here in the Atlanta, Georgia market, which is super competitive with virtually zero marketing spend. So there's a great opportunity even now. And this was the numbers that I'm seeing today, you know, doing 400 K in a month with zero marketing dollars, not reaching out directly to sellers. So if you want to know is wholesaling alive and well, that right there tells you they're able to do multiple, multiple six figures with none of their own direct to seller marketing. So it's still a great time to be in the business. You know, how much money is on the table, right? A lot of JV deals are, you know, 5K here, 10K there. Sometimes these guys are bringing in 30K, 40K, 50K checks on a co wholesale deal because they're finding great opportunities from folks that just don't have their business built up and they know how to maximize the amount of money they can make from a cash buyer because they really are working to find 
folks that are actively entering the market today. They're newer rehabbers or newer buy and hold investors. They're not super seasoned. So maybe they'll pay a little bit more and they're always building their buyers list. How do you get started with this? Well, one thing I know for sure is you should be networking from day one. You know, when you start in this business, I definitely am always going to be a big believer in going out and talking to sellers, learning how to put a deal together, learning, you know, the type of objections to overcome and evaluating properties and knowing how to do a deal yourself. But the other thing that I'm always going to message and say is go out and find your own buyers, find investors that want to buy that you can work with and you can see, hey, what types of deals do you want? Let me help you find those deals and how you do that, going to your local meetup groups, reaching out to folks that you know just close deals. You can do reverse searches for, you know, on open corporates of folks that just bought a house cash. You can go and you can pull lists, you can buy lists from places like Investor Lift or go look at Go Section 8 or My House Deals, folks that you know are companies that are buying properties to fix and flip or buy and hold. So you should be building that network from day one and you can leverage that network to do the same types of deals that these corporate wholesale companies are doing by just pairing a buyer to the deal opportunity, whether that's from another wholesaler or from an agent. One of the things that you gotta be focused on is what value you add. What can you bring to the table? Because a lot of these deals that are going on in your market, especially if you're in a big city, are wholesale companies or wholesalers that are out of state. Maybe they don't even have boots on the ground in your state. Maybe they're just sending their buyer out to a property that they know somebody that wants to buy and they, they're they paying for PPC all the way in California into your local market on the Southeast and they don't even have boots on the ground. Add value to them. Let them know what this property will really sell for by learning your market. Be the boots on the ground. Go out to the property. Take pictures. Let them know who's the best closing attorney to work with. Add value to some of these other wholesalers that are not in your market or just say, hey, you know, I have some of the best buyers. Let me have my buyers go out in addition to your buyers and see who gets the best offer. You know, there's ways that you can really. Leverage your buyers to do deals. And there's a lot of companies that do this. So why not you? Other ways and tips that I learned just even today of finding the right type of agents, agents that have listings where the agent is representing both the seller and the buyer side of the transaction. Those are perfect agents to reach out to because they're already looking at maximizing their return on each deal. But you can offer them that same opportunity. Hey, if you bring me one that you don't end up listing, I can allow you to get double commission, you know, by dual representation, definitely check with your local closing attorney or that agent and their broker to see if it's available in your state. But those are agents that you know would be open to working with you because they're going to make more money with you than they would by listing it on the open market and a buyer coming already represented. There's other ways that you can go out and find these types of agents to work with. And I'm just talking about agents right now, not just the other wholesalers for cold wholesaling, but finding properties that were sold in as is condition. They may know other sellers that have as is properties that they just haven't listed because they don't think the property is good enough. Those are the type of agents you should be reaching out to, to do more cold wholesaling deals. And then on the wholesaling front, you know, if you see, you know, in social media, somebody that's newer to wholesaling or they're just getting going, offer to help, offer to, you know, show them ropes, offer to help them find their buyer for their first deal. They may not have a machine behind them to sell their own deals, Those are opportunities where you can reach out and say, hey, I can help you with this. I can help you get this deal closed, you know, and leverage your network to help them do deals. 
look, and how to be effective in this type of model, right? One of the most important things is by having a strong buyer's list. So like I said, out the gate, you should be letting people know what you do, going to some meetings, building relationships with buyers, having strong communication, being the transaction coordinator or having a transaction coordinator, making sure that your email blast or your, your message to your buyers, uh, your communication back and forth, you know, is really strong and very professional. Folks will want to work with you because they know that you're doing business the right way. They'll give you that opportunity. Also having relationships with the right type of people. If you're new or, or you're in a market and you've already put in the work to, you know, meet contractors in your local area, meet closing attorneys in your local area, maybe even lenders by going to some meetings, you can offer connections for those types of relationships to other wholesalers that are looking to find deals or they already have deals and they're looking to sell their deals in your area. Connect them, leveraging your network to be able to help them do their deals better, connecting the right type of people. And look, closing attorneys, why I just mentioned it, that's a good way to find out who's wholesaling in your market. If you have a strong relationship with a closing attorney, is there anybody that's newer or just getting going that you can partner with and bring a buyer to their deals. Those are great opportunities to find more business or find more deals and just leverage your network. And what's the outcome of all of this? Look, doing deals with less marketing dollars out of your own pocket is always going to be great. And every deal won't be like this, right? In this business, I am a strong believer that you need to do some stuff direct to seller, you need to find your own deals. But I do want to let you know about this way of doing business where you're not spending your marketing dollars and you're having a greater return on your resources, your time, your investment. This can really help you scale and build. Maybe you have a dispositions manager in your business already and they're helping sell deals Maybe you don't have as many deals to sell at this given point. Have your dispo manager go out and find deals, create new opportunities. If you combine that with the direct outreach that you're already doing, that's a great way to add to your business and really build your business and scale it so that you always have consistent deal flow. Like I like to say, right now in this day and age, 2024 and beyond, having strong inbound lead flow to go with your outbound, plus some of these free strategies, that's how you're going to have that consistency in your deal flow each and every month. Guys, and I just want to remind you right now, I am really working with just a select few people. If you're looking to triple your income, or really just grow your business in general. I am offering some exclusive one-on-one consultations designed specifically to help accelerate your success. You know, whether you're just starting or you're at an intermediate level, you've been doing some deals, this is your chance to just get personalized guidance tailored to your unique situation. And we'll deep dive your current strategies, identify what's holding you back, map out a clear plan, and try to skyrocket your results. And being real, if I genuinely can't help or I don't feel like I'm the right fit for you, I won't hesitate to point you in the right direction of someone who can. So this isn't just about doing more deals. It's about building something sustainable, having a profitable wholesaling business that grows with you because I'm committed to helping transform your wholesaling game. I want to make it happen. So to book a session with me, just head over to sendmoreoffers.com. You can click the link to book some time right onto my calendar so we can have a conversation and see if there's anything that I can do to help you grow your business in this next calendar year. Remember, sendmoreoffers.com is the best way to get in touch with me. And in this world of wholesaling, the sky's the limit. I'm here to help you soar. Let's just get started. This is your year to go out and crush it. Till next time, peace. Send more offers. 
That's all for this episode of the Send More Offers Real Estate Show with Brandon Barnes. But we know you're craving more knowledge to get yourself ready for that next deal. To schedule a call with Brandon to learn more about how to do deals consistently without seller appointments in a repeatable way, be sure to visit us at sendmoreoffers.com. And be sure to tune in for the next episode of the Send More Offers Real Estate Show.